Hello guys, this is a video reminding you of a very uh, important and nice script for 3ds Max called the uh, Basachi Chan Align Pivot Script for 3ds Max and you'll find a link to it in the description. And this is a very cheap little script here for 3ds Max but I think guys that this script is a very good one that you should get if you're going to be using 3ds Max for a while. And I also think that other programs, for example Blender and Maya or anything else, maybe even CAD programs, should learn from this script right here. And if anyone knows of a script or an add-on for Blender that is very similar to this, please let me know, guys. Because I really feel this one of the things, having good pivot control is a very important feature. Let's get into Max. And if you guys do like this video, be sure to check out my newest course, Creative Sci-Fi Vehicle Design, where I show you how to use a combination of CAD as well as polygons to create a variety of interesting sci-fi vehicles. Link is in the description, it's the first one there. Let's continue. So if we create a box, and we start to move it around, uh, by default everything is working just fine. But we're able to move the edges, the vertices, polygons, everything is okay here. But let's say it work at an angle. Uh, let's say for example I rotate this, and then suddenly it's like, okay, how do I move this edge according to this orientation? It's like, well, uh, you really can't. But with the script, which you can set to a custom hotkey, which I've done so, I press that, all of a sudden, guys, I've got this right here. Now, what makes this script very good, guys, is that if I press the button again, it will be aligned. See, it can be aligned this way, or kind of in the middle, or like this, which, as you can imagine, is very useful. See, I can actually move it like this, or like that, or I can move it uh, in this direction. So it becomes a very useful script like that. Now I want to show you guys a very useful feature of the script. Let's say I want to go ahead and rotate all this around, let's say, this edge. Let's say this edge is some sort of a hinge, right? Well, if I select everything, um, the pivot kind of goes right there. So how do I do that? Well, I'll select uh, this edge right here and I'll press my hotkey. Um, it's Control shift a I can press like again, for example, to get this. Uh, but notice, um, although the orientation of pivot has changed, right? It's now oriented like this. When I actually select everything, it just goes in the middle. Left click, hold down the left click, uh, hold down the left mouse button, press your hotkey, hover over here. And just like that, guys, it's now actually in place there. It's not using the working pivot. Now, guys, if I select everything, I just notice it actually rotates around her. So, guys, I think this is a fantastic, nice little feature of the script. So, guys, this is just a very nice script because you now have the ability to, let's say, you want to select this and you press the button. Now, it's perfectly aligned to this, for example. So you can now scale according to that direction. And here's the thing, guys. How can you flatten things out according to what you want it to be? Because if I use planar on any of the axes, you know, I just get the result you would expect. It's still using a local axis. But I have two options. I can use a make planar, which does work in many situations, but it, it may not work in all situations. Or, guys, I can use this script and I can actually change the pivot to be like so, and guess what, now I can just kind of scale around there multiple times, and it's flattening out like that. Here's another example. Let's say I select this, alright? I mean, let's say we have a situation, guys, where we just have like uh, a bunch of like noisiness right here. Right, let's say you got some sort of chaos and you know, all sorts of situations can arrive. Now, let's say you want to make this even, all right? So first you pick what edge you want, or vertex or face. This time we got this edge, right? Okay, that's what I want. The problem is, guys, if I select all that, and I scale, it's going to once again scale, kind of using a center point right here. So it may not be exactly what you want. Here, I'll make it more uh, noticeable. Let's say this is way out here, right? 
Now, if I scale, you notice it's actually going to move up. It won't be at the position of this edge. It'll be way up here because it's trying to balance this all out, right? Here's what you do, guys. You go ahead and, once again, left click, hold down left mouse button, press your hotkey, move to the edge. And now, guys, when you scale, it's going to scale from this actual position, which means now, guys, guess what? It's all going to be aligned back there, guys. So I hope you guys are seeing the value of the script, guys. Link is in the description. Thank you for watching and take care.